First tonight, a judge has handed down another prison sentence in connection with the death of a Fall River teenager living with autism. I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalvo. We've been covering this case of David Ullman now for more than two years. His death while in the custody of his father and girlfriend led the Massachusetts DCF to admit they had failed him. This afternoon, the girlfriend, Jacqueline Coleman, was back in court to change her plea. 12 News reporter Lauren Brill was at the hearing and joins us live from Fall River. Lauren? Jacqueline Coleman pleading guilty to a number of charges stemming from the October 2020 death of David Almond, including a second degree murder. 28 year old Jacqueline Coleman of Quincy, Mass, the girlfriend of David's father, John Almond, assumed what the court calls a stepmother role of David and his brother Michael, both requesting for the boys to return to their Green Street apartment in Fall River. And under the care, police say they found the boys neglected and severely underweight. The district attorney says he's pleased with how things played out today. Michael, this was cruel and inhumane treatment of vulnerable children. These children depended on the uh, care and comfort of their father first and foremost and then his girlfriend. Uh, they were deprived of that, treated inhumanely. Director of the Office of the Child Advocate Maria Mositis spoke on behalf of David and his brothers in court, working to reform and improve the system that oversees the protection of children in David's memory. David's memory lives on far beyond the circumstances of his death. Today, I stand here in grief. Grief at the loss of David, grief at the trauma caused to Michael and his brothers. Children do not understand why adults hate them. The realities of what these young boys endured at the hands of John and Jacqueline are unimaginable. Jacqueline is sentenced to life in prison, the same sentence as the boy's father. Reporting live in Fall River, Lauren Brill, 12 News.